director of the Policy and Planning Committee. It's Thursday, May 7th, 2020. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, welcome. I hope everybody is doing well. So the main ag agenda item is the review of the proposed revisions to Policy 6100, Credit for Online Courses. I guess that's over to you, Michael. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Lesser. Um, this policy comes before you this evening for your consideration. Uh, this is directly based on the uh, COVID pandemic response. And uh, you received the red line directly from, hang on just a second, let me admit, Chris. Uh, you received the uh, red line from Deb that includes the following paragraph that is of most importance. And that is, District provided distance learning. Students may also earn credit for high school graduation by participating successfully in distance learning offered by the board during the COVID-19 health emergency or other long-term school closure related to a community-wide emergency. Determination of successful participation will be made by the teacher teaching the course through district provided distance learning, taking into account work performed by the student prior to the school closure. And then it goes into the requirements for online coursework there are five requirements, um, and the requirement number one has one minor red line to it, and that is workload required by the online course is substantially equivalent to that of a similar course taught in a traditional classroom setting. So any questions with regard to this? Not at all for me, Michael. I think it's uh, something we have to do now with these uh, unusual circumstances. I support it totally. Thank you. Yeah, and I think the, the nice part about it, it does reference COVID-19, but the other piece that it gives us the flexibility on is it talks about um, or other long-term school closure related to a community-wide emergency. So we think back in our history, blizzards, hurricanes, Superstorm Sandy, yeah. where we were closed for a week. This would allow us to implement a distance learning plan for any type of emergency. Oh, that's great. I didn't even think of that, but I also thought when I read it, the requirements are very specific that you can't just fly by night and take this one by Walt Disney World. You know, you have to have certain uh, requirements to be to be an acceptable course. So I, I like that too, Mike. Correct. Any other questions? Okay. Seeing none, if uh, Mr. Lesser, you're interested in having this go before the full board i can bring it forward for a first read on tuesday yes do we need a mo we don't do we need a motion to do that or is that no, no in you committee, don't vote in committee you don't vote just a consensus consensus so yeah. do do we have a consensus yes yes okay mike, we're, mike yeah. we're going to be virtual on tuesday we will be yes okay, thank you just you will curious. be so I think we have a consensus, Michael, so it can come before the board on Tuesday, Tuesday's meeting. Okay, we'll have it in the uh, Friday packet tomorrow for everyone. May Thank I you. say you're doing a marvelous job, Mike Emmett. My hat's I, off to you. <laughs> I appreciate that. It's not my on the line, agenda, but I greatly appreciate it. I yeah. know, but my line is you've got those kids first. Always yeah. for the last 10 years, kids first. <laughs> so I just want to know you, you haven't given that motto up. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. Well, I'll second that and appreciate how hard you're working, Michael, and it's not easy. So the next item on agenda is other business. And I don't know if you want to continue with what we were talking about graduation. Yeah, I have a couple of items uh, this evening. First, I want to bring up the idea of um, undirected play. That was something that this committee was considering uh, earlier in the year. Uh, I was charged with getting uh, information from various uh, schools in terms of what their schedules look like and could their schedule support additional undirected play time. At this point in time, I'd like to continue to table this item. Um, we have no idea what our schedule is going to look like. We do know that we're closed for the remainder of the 1920 school year. I am awaiting guidance uh, from the State Department of Education with regard to uh, what summer school may look like, if we can do some sort of a socially distanced extended year program. And frankly, we are not clear on whether or not we will be able to open as usual in the fall. Uh, we may end up dealing with a, a situation where we have to socially distance kids. That would radically change our schedule. So the idea of implementing undirected play at this point in time, in my opinion, just isn't prudent. 
So any, I, I don't think that, I don't think it's on the top of the list right now, Mike. There's so okay. many other things that you have to address. I mean, I, I'm picturing, and this is just my from my experience, I have with 24 kids in a fifth grade, a morning fifth grade and an afternoon fifth grade perhaps may come out. Who knows, Mike? There's too many unknowns to to so pass something like that right now. I think you've got enough to deal with. Okay. So I'm okay with tabling it. Okay, so we'll keep that on the shelf. Anybody else? Any other comments? All right. Well, as I mean, we've talked about it. I certainly agree. You have uh, enough on your plate right now trying to figure out how we're going to end the year, summer school, how we're going to begin a year. And then if we begin a year, we're going to be pulled back out. There's a lot of planning that needs to go into place uh, on top of, you know, budget planning and everything else that's going on with graduations and whatnot. Absolutely. So, yeah, I definitely I agree. there's too much more pressing issues that need to be taken care of. Okay. All right. Mike, I have one question on this, um, and, and this is all conjecture, okay, Mike, a what-if mm -hmm. situation. Um, let's just pretend we get a what-if, a cut of 1.4 like last year. Then you and Matt are going to give us scenarios virtually or like emails, and then we'll meet virtually on those things. Is that sort of the way we want to go with this? I don't know. I mean, we used to just get together after you give a scenario and we talk, but this is unusual times again, Mike. So where, where, where we are right now with regard to the virtual meeting, we have to understand that we're going to be conducting virtual meetings throughout the course of the rest of the school year, obviously. Okay. Uh, that will take us through budget time. That okay. will take us through the rest of our year. Um, you know, okay. obviously, you know, we're in the process of looking right. for Waiting. the next principal at Webb. Where, you know, if I bring a candidate before you, uh, that's going to need to be done virtually. Okay. With budget workshops um, and, and any planning that we need to do as a board, we again are going to have to do that virtually. So okay. what, what we will do is we will make sure that we provide you, as we did with this meeting this evening, we'll provide you with a hard copy via email in advance, and then we'll open up the discussion so that you have the documentation in front wonderful. of you. Not going wonderful. Wonderful. Just, just the cloud. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful because I need the paper in front of me. <laughs> When we're dealing with numbers. <laughs> Absolutely. Not a problem. Um, All right. One, one other brief uh, piece of, of other business, um, and that is in relation to uh, graduation. Um, as you know, by policy, the Board of Education sets the graduation date. Um, you have done that. We actually did that earlier than ever before, given the change in legislation. And then we had COVID-19 take place. Um, so you're aware of where we're at right now. We are in the planning stages for a graduation event. Uh, I will be very clear in telling you that um, with the current executive order and the guidelines that are in place, that will not take place as it normally does at Weathersfield Cove. Um, we are working with a committee. Of, we have students, leadership from the class of 2020. Uh, we have teacher representation. We have a couple of parents on board as well. We're having a meeting, virtual meeting tomorrow at noon uh, to discuss our options. Uh, Shannon Belanger, who is the class of 2020 uh, representative from staff, uh, conducted a survey last week. We had 179 responses. Um, again, response, the top one was a modified graduation at the Cove. It will not work. And that comes directly from Charles Brown from the Central Connecticut Health District. Um, so anything that we're proposing, it's going before Charles to make sure that it passes muster with executive orders and CDC and DPH guidelines. Um, the other thing that's coming up is I've got a meeting, uh, hasn't been set yet, but uh, superintendents will be meeting with the Department of Public Health at the state level uh, to review guidelines and protocols around graduation. Uh, I also want to let you know that, and I'll be letting the committee know tomorrow, that um, there are districts that are moving their graduations out to uh, later on in the summer. We were cautioned today not to put all our eggs in one basket, where we use that as the sole graduation point, due to the fact that we don't know that the restrictions will be lifted in August. So we're going to try and take a balanced approach and take a look at, we know what our, the thing for Weathersfield is, and that's the motorcade. So how do we make the motorcade work? How do we keep it socially distanced? How do we utilize our technology um, with regard to 
speeches. So how do I get our valedictorian, our salutatorian into the school to tape their speeches? How do I get the corollaries to perform? And we do some sort of a blended program. The other piece we can look at in the summertime, we focus on June 12th with diplomas, but during the course of the summer, if restrictions are lessened, we have the opportunity to do something else where we can bring our seniors back together. Definitely a possibility, but not a, a done deal. The other thing I just wanna let you know um, that some districts are doing, some districts are doing a full virtual uh, graduation ceremony with a third party. Um, I unfortunately had the experience on Sunday with my own daughter with college graduation and five minutes before the ceremony was to begin, the site was hacked and taken down. So there was no graduation whatsoever. So uh, I will not put forward any um, proposal to engage with an outside company, uh, which A, would cost us money and B, gives us no guarantee that we would have a, a flawless graduation. We feel we can do it much better ourselves. So. Any questions? Well, Michael, I think you always put the kids first again, so that's why I'll follow your lead. You just keep us informed. This is all I appreciate because, you know, being out, and I'm not out in the community much, believe me, I'm in the yard, but I don't want to hear, I heard this rumor, I heard that rumor, without knowing from you the facts that you just shared, you know? No, there's not going to be a cove one. Oh, I hear there's going to be a cove, you know, thing. I would like to have, like you just said, I can tell people who say that to me, no, we can't do that due to the health concerns from the Central Connecticut Health District. Well, so, and, and we've we've received a lot of great ideas, and you know they're very much appreciated. But you know, I know there was one idea floating around on social media about closing down Main Street and having a parade. That is the exact opposite of what the Central Connecticut Health District would want to see, because that's going to draw crowds down yes. into a central location. That's exactly why the town canceled. The Memorial Day Parade. Exactly. And you know, let me say this too, as, as a parent and as the superintendent, I love these kids like they're my own. Um, I am struggling mightily with the fact that we haven't been able to give them all of those rites of senior passage. Um, but I have to, at the end of the day, continue to focus on making sure that they are safe, they're healthy, and not only them, but grandparents. Let's face it, who, who comes to graduation? Grandma and grandpa. And the last thing I want to see is to have our vulnerable population end up succumbing to this illness. Um, it, it continues to increase in Weathersfield in terms of cases. Uh, you know, we hear that from Charles on a weekly basis. So until things begin to, to ease, I expect that restrictions are gonna continue to be in place. Michael, I appreciate sure. your approach 100% and I agree with it. Um, has it or will it be considered potentially to look at doing some senior event, maybe uh, Thanksgiving weekend when most of the seniors in their first year of college would probably be home. Is that a consideration? Yeah, that's one thing that we've, we've definitely talked about. I think that's another one of those ideas to bring up to the seniors as well to see how that might work. Um, so that's definitely, that's something that's not off the table whatsoever, Ken. Not at all. Okay. Great, thank you. And Michael, the big piece too is that the kids, the senior class, has officers, has a student advisor, a teacher advisor. Yep. They're doing a great job analyzing good options. I mean, I, I'm so impressed when you said, you know, they came up with the survey with four options. And I'm saying, these are 17, 18 year old kids who haven't lived much of life, but they're doing a great job of how to propose this to you and going through the right channels. So I think uh, we should commend them for their, their ability to do that without you know, us on their back. <laughs> yeah, ab absolutely. And I think, you know, what's, what's happened, what's happening in Weathersfield is happening all over. Yeah. Um, you know, I had a, a Hartford area superintendents meeting this afternoon and we, what was the focus? The focus was on graduation and, mm -hmm. you know, we have different districts doing a variety of different things. Uh, most are trying to blend it approach, which is what we're going to look to do. Um, but I think I speak for all my fellow superintendents that this has been an unprecedented year and it's unfortunate to have to do this, but we will still do everything we can to honor our seniors and get them ready for that next step in life, whatever it may be. Yep. That sounds great. Does, it, does anybody have any other questions or Michael have any other business to bring up? It's all on my end. Um, I'll take a motion to adjourn then. I think we're done. Oh, second. Yeah. We don't. Do we have, do we have just take it off, we're done. All right. All right.
All okay, favor? Michael. All right. We're Aye. done. Bye. All right. We're set. Thank, Thank you, everybody. everybody. Thank you. Have, Have a great nice evening. weekend. We'll see you Tuesday. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. See you Tuesday.